today, I'm going to show you what we do for fishing on the Berkeley Pier. So right now we're going to be fishing for smelt, um, perch, and hopefully leopard sharks and bat rigs. So this is the smelt and perch setup. I have on the end of my line uh, um, one of these little clip thingies. And on the clip I put a half ounce weight. I think this is a half ounce weight. And then attach, I, you can buy these at the shop. It's um, at the bait and tackle shop that's down here. You have this little thing with a loop, a uh, line, and then it's attached to your hook. Just a nice little small hook. This one's old and it's all rusted, but I hope it'll work and I hope it'll bust when, my, when the fish bites. So you take your rod for the um, small fish. right here. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, it's still going down, so you can see it's spinning. And I'm gonna, wait, there's a, there's a few knots in it. So once it's done spinning, you don't need a reel like this. You can also use bait casting, or the normal fishing reels. Then you just, so once it's on the bottom, you bring it up a bit, just a tiny bit, about two feet. Maybe a bit more than that. And then you just let the rod sit there. And when the fish bites, it's gonna go like, your line's going to really look like this, and it's going to be pulling down hard on the rod, and you're going to like that, and you're really going to know, because these fish pull, the, especially if it's a smell, it's going to pull really hard. With the perch, you don't always know when they're on, and it's only when you're bringing it up, you're like, oh, this is really heavy, and then you have a fish. But anyways, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what we do for the, uh, the, the sharks. So I say I have a big, big rod, I'm just going to make sure Crabs that ate our bait? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Again. Like it happens every single time. So, uh, what we're using is bait squid. So I'm going to maybe a bit bigger piece. About a bucket of squid, thing of squid. So, a piece like this. Just put it on the hook. And, there, it, it's, about, it's the same setup as the, as the other things. So like, Hook it like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same setup, except that here you have a bigger weight and a bigger hook with stronger line. Let's go test that out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, for the smaller pole. For the smaller poles, like what were you watch out, watch out. This one and that one over there. We use um, these kind of worms over here. They're called pine. Buy them most of the time at the thing. Yeah, I'll show you. You have to watch out for the heads. Always have to cut them off when you're using them. I don't want to keep this guy alive, so I'm going to put him in there. Anyways, these are pile worms, and they work really well for the person. So now, watch out, get out of the way. I'm going to try to set up first. Yeah, I sure it. So that's what it is right now. We're just squeezing the weight and all that kind of stuff. Watch out, here I go. That was a nice cast. That's a bit close. It was? Oh wait, shit. I have the I have my thing on. I was supposed to cast like that. Yeah. I, I did the wrong type of cast, sorry. I, I I forgot to switch something. Okay, there. Now this now this time I should cast farther. I forgot to, to take off my like little bell type thing. Got it. So here, if a fish bites, then it'll just go like this, and here. That way I can grip it one with the rod. So I'm going to show you the crab pot. Can I lift it up this time? No, you picked it up oh, yeah. last time. So no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. No, you, I put it back in. Um, the thing is, with these is, um, well, you always want to have one if you're fishing sharks. Because you never know. Oh, we have a small crab. 
Okay. No more bait. So it ate our bait. <laughs> this guy's hiding in there. So you need one of these in case you catch a leopard shark or a bat ray, and you want to put them. Put the hey, you guys think I can get a hook? What? A hook? A no. Hook. So look. Okay. Anyways, if you stroke the just look, look. Hey, okay. yeah. you're still filming. If you stroke the bottom, it makes the crab fall asleep. And then they have to be big just to keep them. And you need this so in case you just um, you get a little shark, you put them in the net and you bring them back up. And we're using squid as bait so for this. And a lot of the things, you just take a whole squid and you shove it down in there. There. And just drop it back in the water. There. Throw a bunch of line out. Okay, we're gonna use the same bait, which is good, is that these fish don't usually swallow the whole oh, thing. That's not good. Great. Drop it back down. You have to drop it. That way I don't get it messed up with the crab off. So drop it down. That was a nice that was nice that we caught that fish. That was pretty Yeah, so just drop it down until it goes gets to the bottom. And then you reel it up a bit. Okay. So we got that big we caught that fish with a rod that's like Oh, that's my hand again. You guys are gonna see a lot of my hand. Can I bring this so one in? from here to like here, that's a small rod. That's not even very big. That's an ice fishing rod, it's right there. This one we're casting it out. Okay. So this is the um, this is the normal size crab that you can catch in the bay. And as you can see, I just made it fall asleep again. And see, we cut two. So what you do is you pick them up from the uh, but you have to watch out just get pinched. Ow, 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 pinch me. Okay, maybe that's not the best way. And then you can, gosh, that's a lot meaner than this one. So, grab his butt, flip him over, then he should fall asleep. Then you just stroke his tummy, you might start making bubbles. And so this guy's asleep. Yay! Now I'm gonna throw him. Ah. Okay, I hate these crabs. I'm gonna throw this guy back in the water. There, throw that guy. This guy's a lot more frisky. Mean. Okay, watch out. <laughs> chuck it, chuck it. There we go. You can still use the bait. There we go. There, it's on. Okay, yeah. We okay, 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 okay. It's so exciting. It's not oh. very exciting. We fish. have a fish on there. Yes, right it's there. kind of messed up real. How do I zoom in? I just got to bring the fish in. Who cares about a mess of real when you got a fish? Yeah, this one's even bigger than the last one. Yay! Nice shiner perch. Yeah, I think this is a shiner perch. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave them in the water while I get my pliers. I love leaving these fish in the water. He's a nice hooking, so... Put it right at the top so I can watch it. He's kind of alive. Kind of alive. Anyways, he's at the top. What's he doing? Floating. Is he doing anything? Is he going to try to swim away? Well, whatever he's doing, he'll be... Go he'll get the pliers. I have the pliers. See? It would be better for him to do it with no hook in his mouth. Oh. The hook set is always the same. Are we really seriously getting these on that small ass reel? Yeah, it's always the same rod. Before you throw this back, I want to show in proportion to the fish how small that damn reel is. You better get that hook out, Mika. I know, I know. Holy. Am I holding it? Get a hold of that hook. This is how they always get them. They swallow the hook here. I'm gonna try to. Yeah, they're kind of spiky, so. Ow, it really hurts. Here, I'm gonna put him in the water so he can breathe a bit. Then I'll try again. I'm stepping on the line, Justin. Okay, just go drop it. Ah, still stepped on the line. Okay. Oh, it just fell off. It just did? He just fell off. He's right there. He's half dead. Really? Yeah, let's hope that he'll. Oh, you know why he fell off? Because 
accidentally cut the hook off. What's he doing? He swam down. Oh there, that's another fish off of the here. Tell him how many we caught in one day, Nico. Two! That looked really bad. Whatever, it was two fish. And that's, that's good. Usually it's one, and it's always on that rod. This looks really weird. So, so now you can see the rod. It's, it's always on this rod. It's always on this tiny fish, this tiny rod. Do we still have the bait? No, no uh, we lost the hook. He I ate the hook. I, I accidentally, when I was getting the hook out, I used the wrong part of the pliers and I snipped the line. So that's the weight. I accidentally snipped the line and as you can see, that was a total fail. So now we have no more hook and I have to get a new one. So stop filming. Okay, camera going. So this, my friends, we caught it in the- A crab net, I can't believe that. They came up with the crabs. And now this, my friend, I'm trying to, it's a tiny type of bass fish. It's a bass? And it's a type of bass, or I think otherwise called rockfish. And these can be endangered. So put it back. So we are gonna put this guy, little, this little guy back Wait, right I'm now. Wait, let me show him the too. Look how big he is. It's tiny. It's tiny, but it's so cool, it's super cool. That's ah. cool fish. Oh, yeah. Start back. Bye, bye That guy has to go back. That's an endangered species. One endangered species no, out of three. Dun, dun, dun. I remembered. Maybe because there's four crabs in it. That's probably not the... Hey! You! Hey, flip them over, dude. That's a oh. weird shape one. Yeah, it's, it's a frisky one. You, give me my squid bag. You can't, you, not, you cannot allow them to steal your squid. This guy is to fall asleep. Ow! Off the nets. We got heck of crabs this time. What? We got heck of crabs. I know. Here, I have a better idea. There we go. Oh, that worked. That worked. Now you have to go around the bats. So wait till they fall asleep. Yeah. When the sleepy that's... ones, you go bring them to the people. Yep. Here, you go bring them to the. In a minute. Good luck, Oh, well, just one big one, but I mean, that's good. Oh, that's a giant one, dude. Look at his claw. That, this crab is mega! It is like a god, dude. It's crawl That's this four inches easily. That is like the biggest crab we've ever caught. Man, this crab is so bad. Look at that claw, dude. I know, it's serious. It's massive. Do you want it? No. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. That's the end of our fishing trip, I guess.